In this video we will bring you the storyline of a movie called A Bronx Tale, from the year 1993. The film tells the story of a growing Italian-American boy, Calagero Anello, who, after meeting the local mafia boss, is torn between the temptations of organized crime, racism in his community, and forgetting the values of his honest, hard-working father. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. The narrative begins in 1960 in the Bronx in a blue-collar district of America. A man named Lorenzo drives a bus, working to support his wife, Rosina, and their school-age son, Calagero Anello. On that day, after Lorenzo drove his son home, Calagero secretly left, and went to a pub owned by a well-known local mafia figure. Calagero begins to describe the patrons inside, including the pub's temporary owner Tony Toupee, and it is widely known that the real power holder is Sonny. We are then introduced to the pub's regulars, Eddie Mush, Jojo the Whale, Frankie Coffee Case, and Jimmy Whisper, who is also Sonny's right-hand man, and earned his nickname due to his reclusive, assertive and powerful nature. Unexpectedly, Calegro's mum pulled him out, reprimanding him for his actions. In short, after Lorenzo returned from work, he reprimands Calagero, warning him to stay away from the place. Lorenzo expects his son to lead a straight life, not like gangsters. And to make his son forget about the pub, Lorenzo takes him to watch a basketball game with the exclusive tickets he just booked. The next morning, Calagero and his friends Slick and Mario, who are relaxing, playfully mimic the dispute between Jimmy and his customers. Later, Slick becomes angry when a bus with black passengers passes by. And although Calagero explains the black man's presence in an attempt to calm him down, Slick chooses to chase the bus and yells racial slurs. Observing this in question, Lorenzo calls his son to come back. As Calagero sat alone, he saw a violent altercation involving members of Sonny's crew. When things got heated, Sonny, who had just arrived, immediately shot and eventually killed an attacker. Realizing the danger, Lorenzo quickly grabbed his son and brought him to safety. The police quickly arrived and informed Lorenzo of Calagero's proximity to the incident, hoping he could identify the shooter, despite Lorenzo's boast that his son didn't know which the boy willingly revealed. During the questioning of the perpetrator, Calagero did not identify Sonny, claiming that none of the shots came from the group. Upon returning home, Calagero asked his father if what he did was good. Lorenzo replied yes, even though it was for a bad person. The next day, as Lorenzo drove his son home, he saw Sonny nodding at him, indicating that he accepted Sonny's recognition. Sonny's men then entered the bus, meeting Lorenzo, expressing appreciation for his son's help. He offers Lorenzo a lucrative job, but he refuses as he does not want to be involved in their illegal endeavors. The next day Calagero was repairing his bicycle. He is approached by Sonny's henchman, and escorted to the pub because Sonny wants to meet him. Upon meeting, Sonny shows interest in Calagero, for the potential he has. Later, Sonny offers him a job as a waiter at the bar, where Calagero will be well paid. Later, during a gambling session, Sonny invites Colagero to participate. When Colagero started it, he achieved 11 consecutive passes, and he won a large amount for Sonny. After the game, Colagero received a generous tip from Sonny, in that meeting he also gave a nickname for Colagero, which would be dubbed as C, and Sonny began to think of him as his own son. As rumors spread about their friendship, seeing the change in the neighborhood's attitude towards him, C witnessed a newfound respect. When he returned home, Lorenzo and Rosina found C's money, they questioned its origin. And after learning about C's relationship with Sonny, Lorenzo immediately visited the pub to return the money. Despite Rosina's protests about their financial needs, Lorenzo insisted on returning the money and warned Sonny to keep away from Calagero. However, Sonny explains that the money is the result of C's labor. But Lorenzo moves away, directing C to leave the room, Sonny then conveys his respect to Lorenzo, admonishing him for his bravery. Lorenzo expresses his concern about the materialistic allure that surrounds Sonny, fearing the impact it will have on C. He pleads with Sonny to stay away from his son, which makes the gangster uneasy and eventually delivers a stern warning. After leaving the pub, the argument still continues, Lorenzo reprimands him with a firm statement. But C criticizes Lorenzo's work ethic and cites Sonny's outlook on life. However, Lorenzo emphasizes the glory of his honest work and integrity, and that people love him, 
but in contrast, people fear Sonny. He then apologized for his slap, assuring that maturity would make him understand. Fast forward seven years, adult C is at the racetrack with Sonny and the crew. They bet on the favored horse of the day. However, when an ill-fated better entered in favor of the same horse, Sonny intuitively threw away his ticket, predicting a loss. C who is curious about the outcome of the horse race stays behind, and sure enough, he witnesses their horse's defeat. Later C and his friends formed a social group. Deuces Wild becomes their regular hangout. Tensions arise when a car with a black passenger drives by. While C calms his friends about the black man's presence there, his friends argue about the audacity of the newcomer to enter their territory. Later, Lorenzo pulls up with his bus, signaling for C to enter. Lorenzo excitedly mentioned a boxing match. He was considering it for the next day. However, his attention is distracted by the presence of a woman in the passenger seat, making him oblivious to his father's words. Apparently, C is fascinated with the black woman. After getting off the bus, C identifies a man named Louis, who owes him money. As he pursues Louis, Sonny intercepts him to seek clarity on the situation. Sonny emphasizes looking at potential consequences rather than incurring losses for trivial reasons, such as a $20 debt. Amazed by such wisdom, C admires him for his insight. Sonny also recounted his time in prison, implying that he had made a mistake. He introduced the writings of Machiavelli and talked about the importance of being accessible and staying connected to one's roots. Sonny emphasized to always be wary of personal and family interests. Then, a badly dressed motorbike gang. Entering Sonny's pub, they are initially refused by Sonny's assistant. However, Sonny allows them to enter. Problems arise when the gang begins to molest the bartender. It makes Sonny lock the entrance door and immediately gives the biker gang a lecture. Sonny's anger explodes in defeating and disciplining the disrespectful guests. On another occasion, C and his group encounter a gun dealer who displays a firearm. Witnessing this, an enraged Sonny confronts them, taking particular issue with the gun dealer. After chasing them away, he takes C to the pub, where Sonny admonishes him by insisting that true strength comes not from weapons, but rather how you take action. In a twist of fate, C is reunited with the black woman. He pursues her with excitement, discovers that they go to the same school. He prioritizes her over his other friends. He makes up an excuse to talk to her. The two strike up a conversation where C learns her name, Jane. They made an appointment to watch a movie at the cinema. On one occasion, while C and his friends were relaxing, they saw some black people cycling nearby. While his friends expressed contempt, C was more in favor of peace. This newfound attitude confuses Slick who wonders about C's change in sentiment. Slick gets up from his seat and immediately attacks the black cyclists, prompting his gang members to jump in and start attacking. C, who joined the attack, silently advised the victim to stay down to avoid further harm. Witnessing the showdown, Sonny is enraged, advising C to distance himself from his violent friends, making their fate even bleaker. When C later asked Sonny for advice on his romance with a black girl, the open-minded Sonny responded back. Sonny emphasizes the importance of personal happiness and mutual feelings in a relationship. Sonny then offers him his car for a speed date and gives him advice for a test to find out Jane's character. At home, C asked his father for hypothetical scenarios about dating someone outside his neighborhood. Lorenzo, while not having any ill feelings towards black people, is firmly convinced to stay within his own ethnic society. C opposes this point of view, hinting at his own romantic inclinations and not being restricted by ethnicity, but Lorenzo remains firm in his stance. To summarize, during C's meeting with Jane, she reveals her brother's recent altercation with an Italian. She asks if C had a role in it. A game of identification ensues when Jane's brother arrives on the scene, pointing to C as one of the attackers. In anger, they argue, throwing out harsh words, with C inadvertently hurling a racial slur, and instantly regretting it as Jane storms off. After returning the car to Sonny, C goes home where Lorenzo expresses his dislike of seeing his son in Sonny's car and he further advises him to avoid the pub. C countered by highlighting Sonny who was a confidant to him. However, Lorenzo responded with skepticism about Sonny. Lorenzo differentiates between fear and respect, implying that Sonny is more feared than respected. 
C defensively belittles his father's profession and leaves the house. That night, their hangout was vandalized. While C's group planned a counterattack, Sonny intervened, dispersing the crowd. His anger is evident when C faces questions about where he has taken his car, as it was damaged after C took it. A distressed C asserts his respect and affection for Sonny, likening him to a father figure. When Lorenzo tries to investigate the disturbance, he is suddenly struck with a punch. As he retreats, Sonny admonishes him to be careful with his words. Meanwhile, C meets up with his gang who, armed with firebombs, are planning retaliation. C hesitantly joins them. Their car stops at a red light, when Sonny appears asking C to get out of the car. Before leaving, Sonny sternly warns the group to avoid C back at the bar and his partner tells C about a visitor who just came in, Jane rushes out, he is reunited with Jane, where Jane reveals that what Sonny said was true. After resolving the misunderstanding, their bond deepens with a shared kiss. Meanwhile, Slick's gang wreaks havoc in the predominantly black area, shooting at will and throwing firebombs. A failed firebomb, thrown back by a man, blows up Slick's car, killing them. Arriving at the scene, C is greeted with the grim sight of his friend's lifeless body leading to a maelstrom of emotions. C returns to the bar, where he finds a bustling party. Making his way through the crowd, he spotted a sinister-looking individual advancing towards Sonny. His shout of warning comes too late as Sonny is fatally shot by the vengeful son of a man who had been killed by Sonny earlier. At Sonny's memorial service, C is disturbed by the indifference of the attendees, and finds her solace in a solitary farewell. His solitude is interrupted by Carmen, who introduces himself as the new supervisor of the neighborhood. He makes an offer of support, referring to Sonny who was a savior for C. The End If you enjoyed this video, don't be shy to hit the like button. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe for more videos like this.